that what you were hoping to see off of last night? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we came out and had great energy that first quarter. Really uh, got after it and on both sides of the ball, and that's about as good as we can about as good as we can play there. And uh, I think the guys knew that last night was kind of a bad game. <laughs> we didn't play that well. They I give more time credit, but they played well. But tonight our guys came out and took care of business. We really, really had a um, just fantastic uh, first quarter. We were just um, electric on both sides of the ball. The ball moved. The guys made shots. We made the extra pass. You know, it was just fun to watch. Can you talk about how you guys answered the runs to every time Oklahoma City made a run and you guys were able to stop it? Well, if you ever have a 40 to 18 run, you like that to be in the fourth quarter. <laughs> first quarter, you got a lot of game left. And uh, Durant made a couple threes. Uh, and you knew they were going to get going at some point. They're just, you know, they're they're a very explosive team. And uh, you know, they 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 made a run at us, and we had up, you know, we made timely baskets, but we kept doing what we were doing. We were pretty com committed um, tonight to moving the ball, which is good. At 25 assists. Um, with our turnovers, they scored a lot in the second quarter off our turnovers. Our offense kind of fed their offense, and once we quit doing that. And uh, took care of the ball, and we were pretty solid from that point on. And they, they, they made they made runs, and you know we'd make a couple timely baskets and, and you know, push it back up, and it would go from 11 to 15 or 16 again. Get felt like a little more comfortable. You mentioned the ball movement. Overall, is that pretty much how you envision the offense executing, particularly when they're doubling James as they were on this? Yeah, I mean that you know that's just what we got to do too on the ball. We got to get off it, and you know we can't get tired of doing this. We can't get tired of doing successful things. And I think there are times. Last night we ran a couple of plays um, in Orlando that worked, and then we came down and someone just took a shot right in the middle of the play that was working beautifully. And, you know, and, and I was like, why would we do that? At the end of that play, we were getting layups. And so, just it was like it, we don't want to do that. We want to be a team that can run, make them stop something, and then you make an adjustment off their stops. If they if they're putting two on the ball, and <coughs> you know, and we're hitting the uh, the roll guy, then he's making the play great. You take the roll guy away, he dives, takes the guy with him, you bring the next guy up. And so you just, there's just always, there's always um, adjustments you make, but, but you got to be willing to move the ball just to the right guys. As you get deeper into the season and more familiarity with Josh, would you like to see him run more offense with that second minute because his passing is so... Exciting? Yeah, yeah, you know, like get him driving more, put him in situations where um, with that second unit, uh, you know, a jet or a brew, or Alexi, or someone comes off and they and, and you know they have to show hard and throw back when when guys are closing out on, on Josh, he's really good at attacking closeouts and getting downhill. Um, and then you know tonight tonight he did a really nice job of just taking his time and finishing at the rim. And if they if they came, he just threw it out. So I mean when he's playing at that rhythm, he gave he gave our second unit a huge boost. And I mean you know in his 20 minutes he had 13 points, seven rebounds, and two assists. And you know he was really solid for that group. So yes, as we get going, that would be fantastic. Kevin, you know how sometimes less is more? What is James doing less of this year that's helping him be more effective? Well, you know, I, we ha he has the ball a lot. <laughs> and uh, um, I, I just think he's, he's, he's making more of the simple plays. I think he's making more two on the ball, get it to the next guy. Um, more, I'd like to see him even do more catch and shoots. You know, let other people make plays for him. Let his man be a tag guy. Let his man tag a, 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 a Dwight rolling or a Demo rolling one of our bigs and just catch and shoot. Um, I, I, th I think he has the ball a lot, so he can be very simple in his, in, in, in his approach to the game and still put up phenomenal numbers, which he's doing. And uh, you know, earlier in the year he didn't shoot that particularly that well. And I just told him, I said, man, I said we were winning games, and I said that's great news because. You're going to get to your averages, and uh, you're going to have a month where you shoot, or six weeks where you shoot, unbelievable. And he's kind of in the middle of that right now, where he's, I think tonight he was uh, 9 for 15. He's been just very efficient. But he has the ball a lot. He knows where to get him a lot. So he just he never has to really force anything. He just takes what's there. Um, he's been making beautiful passes. Uh, he was, uh, I think he needed one more rebound for, uh, uh, for a triple-double, but he got tired. Thank you.